Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 26th of January, 2021. Taking a look here at basic attention token, um, BAT uh, on the three-week chart remains bullish because it is above the cloud. However, uh, and it has a really nice, uh, came right down, that. wow, I didn't even notice this, but uh, it came right down to that 50% retracement. Broke down below a little bit, but but it closed the the, uh, the la last three week candle um, just just right on top of it, pretty much. And that's kind of where we're sitting, just a hair above that. That uh, seventy five cents is the um, fifty percent favorite retracement is up at eighty one right now. It did move as high as well. We'll get into that here in, in a second, but uh, it's still bullish because it's above the cloud, but is down quite a bit now from the tank and send pretty big gap there, and uh, so that's something to watch. Moving over into the weekly chart, um, it is a, it, it, mixed here. So in order to prevent an ideal bearish Ichimoku breakout, um, basic attention token, it needs a close that is going to keep the uh, Chiku span above the bodies of the candlesticks. Uh, basically, if there is a uh, a weekly close at 65 or under, that could trigger a major price collapse. There is some hidden bullish divergence present, you know, between the price chart, uh, the candlestick chart and the RSI as well as the price chart and the uh, 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 composite index. So that's a positive development. It's struggling to get back inside the cloud, though, after it broke down below it and closed below it last week. So that's that's something to to uh, pay close attention to. And it had been testing Cinco Span B like quite quite a while. Um, certainly over the last six seven weeks, it's it's been tested quite a bit, and it did fall through it last week. Although the volume wasn't very high. Finally, we get to the daily chart, and. Uh, of course, you saw it rally through the day, and then when the when uh, the Fed notes came out, were basically confirming to everybody what uh, it, we everyone thought that the Fed would say. Uh, they said that inflation is bad and that um, the economy is awesome, so let's raise rates, and uh, also tapering is going to increase. So really nothing new that hasn't been talked about before, no big surprises. But throughout the day, BAT traded, you know, from the open of, of, of the uh, the Wednesday candle, it moved up like 10.6%, and then it <laughs> dropped all the way down, and, you know, currently, um, it dropped, lost, I'll just say this, it went up 10%, and now it's only at 2%, so it is still moving up, but uh, definitely lost the uh, majority of the gains that were had today. Is it setting up for a continuation move south? I don't think so. I, I think it'll continue to move up here. Um, might come back down to test that 75 cent zone, but otherwise I, I don't see it falling down lower. Upside potential is probably limited to the daily um, the daily kitchen sent up at a dollar, and the uh, a downside again is that limited down to that 75 cent zone. Well, keep it, keep it updated and keep you all updated. Thank you for watching. From all of us here at Exchange Rates UK TV, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.